I'm mightiest, okay? I'm the greatest player in the game. But uh, one thing I noticed is you kids make videos trying to play, and then you, people in the comments section say, oh, that's a good video. Well, you're good. What's your, what's your trait? And all these mouth breathers are just running around mashing their buttons mindlessly. No skill. No brains, no skill. So being the person who was blessed by the almighty God with more brains and more skill than anybody in the world, I figured I'd make a video. And I refused to pay $37 for Fraps because Fraps should be paying me for advertising for them. So it's going to be 30 second clips, but it's going to be quality clips. Quality. The first time you will ever see a quality Guild Wars 2 video. So you mouth breathers sit down, pay attention and watch. I'm playing my ranger. At first I started playing a guardian. Then I played the ranger and that's, I don't even know why they even make other, other, other professions. Let me show you kids how to play. You see, I'm on Aridan Terrace. I was I started out on Kiny. I've always been on Kiny, but we got all these transfers and stuff. And, and these people on Aridan, Aridan Terrace and Ferguson's Crossing, they're a bunch of mouth breathers. A bunch of quitters. A bunch of negative Nancys who don't want to come out of their waypoint because there's bad guys out there. So that's why I transferred here. I have a lot of people to kill. So let's go into Eternal Battlegrounds, my favorite map. The only map I really play on. The uh, the home map is for like beginners. All the beginners go to their home map. And this, this is definitely not a video for beginners. So as you can see, the, the uh, whole map is green. There's nobody here on, on this map. There's nobody in the area. It's just me versus all of these these idiots over at Kiny. And maybe the one fur guy who captured that sentry. So here I go. When you're the greatest player in the game and, uh, and there's nobody to fight, you make people to fight. So what I do is I kill all these guards. So you can see I've got half of the guards killed. Cutting this worthless guard around because I'm the greatest player in the game. No, the end is not here because I'm the greatest player in the game. You better recognize, son. You better recognize. All of you kids better recognize. See, what I'm doing here is I'm killing all these guards. Then I'm going to start shooting the door. I'll camp this area until somebody comes by for me to kill. See, you'll see. Watch. See, somewhere out there, some mouth breather is watching the map and he sees that this so he's gonna come down here see what's going on and I'm gonna kill him but first let me kill this doliac here watch I'm the master of life. I am the master of life now, I don't know what the time was when I started but it's 614 now and I'm over here by the sentry kill all those guards kill all the freaking doliacs Here's my victims. Here's my victim. One hunter. A poor hunter. He's about to die. He's thinking about it. Look. Look at him. He's thinking about it. Oh, he goes running away. Now, see, the dude knew he didn't stand a chance. So what I have to do now is attack the two guards at the gate he just ran into and make him feel like he has the advantage. Then I'm going to kill him. Let's let's go see how it's done, kids. Well, the poor fella ran off, so I'm just gonna keep going. We'll see what happens. You 
says who says you'll die if you go out to turn the battle? I've been here for a couple minutes yet, and I haven't died. So nobody's coming. They don't. Uh, they don't care. And uh, there's nobody to fight. So I'm gonna capture this supply camp. What I'm gonna do first, though, is kill all the ogres because the ogres are standing at the supply camp. I got the uh, ogre camp three quarters or one quarter way finished. And one thing I can do is watch my flag. If I see that flag moving or disappear, you know somebody's there. You know, if there was five of me, I'd never lose. I'd conquer the map. There's me a victim. This guy thinks he's gonna run up and kill me with his with his hunter. But he doesn't know what the hell he's doing. It's always a shame to see poor to see these freaking mouth breathers playing the greatest class in the game and making a mockery of themselves make sure to laugh at them because they deserve it run up on me with half my life and end up getting killed see when i say i'm the greatest player in the game kids i'm not i'm not messing around there's nobody there's nobody in this game that is half as good as I am, and that's a fact. If you don't like facts, if that offends you, that's because the truth is, is everybody wants to be the greatest, and I am the greatest. So of course you're going to be a little upset, you're going to be a little angry. All these freaking up people on the, on the servers that I play on, when I try to give them pro tips and they just get angry, that's, that's your own problem. If you knew how to play the game, I wouldn't have to say nothing to you. You can see that freaking moron came up here without even attacking the sentry. So he either came from here and went this way, or who knows what he did. Whatever he did, he ended up coming into his death. And it's, prob it's, probably, sh it's probably a sure thing that he isn't coming back. There's another guy. Who is that? It's a guardian. Let me kill this thing. Oh, he doesn't even want to. He doesn't even want to fight. He just shows up and runs away. I guess I had to attack the supply camp by myself and give him a give him what he thinks is a weak target. We'll see what happens. My pet died. I wasn't too busy talking. There he is. Let's see what he does. He probably just runs. Uh, he's not running. He's gonna fight. Or at least try to fight. Pretend like he's fighting. What a, what a disgrace. What a joke. You need to stop playing the game, son. Didn't even try to knock me back. So I'm just capturing this sentry. Then I'm gonna attack Pangloss. By myself, of course. Because Eridan Terrace is full of a bunch of crying mouth breathers. We can't win. We're outnumbered. We can't take nothing without 50 people. Look at what I'm doing. And I'm just one man. One exceptional man. But I'm just one man. So here we go. Follow me. Okay, time me. It's 6.27 p.m. See how long this takes. See, I do this so much, I perfected the art of solo captain supply camps. I even do this. I'll even be killing these guys if people show up. Just because it makes it, it, makes it more of a challenge to capture a supply camp and kill people at the same time. Here it is, 629. I've got the boss almost dead. There's one guard left. 
and I'm about to catch you a camp for the glory of myself. Ah, oh, there he goes, reset. Ah, minor setback. See how I evade the guard while he's trying to get me? That's because I'm a pro. You can try to copy what I do, but you're not. You probably won't succeed because you're not the greatest player in the game. Supply camp is mine. Both centers are mine. We'll see if anybody comes to fight. Nobody came to fight. Nobody wants any of this. At least three people know I'm here because I've killed them or seen them. But nobody's coming out to play. Well, two people, not three. When they do come out to play, they're going to be punished. And you'll see that in any minute. From 110 to 115 points. You're welcome, Arid and Terrace, but you're not worthy. You're not worthy to have me. Let's move out, fellas. Let's see what else is out there for us to kill. Let's kill these guards here. Sometimes they drop. Sometimes they drop some pretty decent uh, equipment. Sometimes they'll drop siege weapons. All you gotta do is drop them. Which for me is easy. Because once again, I am the greatest player in the game. Interrupt your heal. So easy. I mean, it's just common sense. Flag the freaking wall. Flag the, flag the tower. Make them think I'm attacking the tower. And hope somebody shows up to fight. So this is what I, this is what I do normally. Come in the EB by myself. I try to kill people. If any, of you, if any of you mouth breathers from Kainan are watching, there's a shark in the water. I repeat, there's a shark in the water. Stay out of the pool. Do you understand? Do you understand what I'm saying? So here I am, see? I think a normal person would see this and, and start running away. But like I said, I'm better than everybody that ever played the game. I know I can handle it. I'm gonna kill this guy, this Doliac, these guards. I'm going to get away. I'll see you, I'll show you after the match. See? See what I'm saying? Everybody's dead. I'm victorious, as usual. Nobody in sight. When somebody comes into sight, they will be punished. Let's see the map. This is all the work I've done. I've killed all the ogres. Uh, they took my sentries back. Maybe they'll be coming this way. A couple of mouth breathers from Arid and Terrace are attacking Mendens. That'll give me something to do. But I haven't. I still haven't seen anybody. They must know that I'm out today. They must have heard. Being the incredible player that I am, my next guess is that whoever took back these sentries is going to try to take back this sentry here. So let's head up in that direction and see if we don't find it trying to kill it. And as usual, I'm always right. Someone's trying to kill my sentry. There the poor guy is. It's just a warrior. And a thief. They're all going to die. Yeah, watches. They thought they had me. They thought they had me, but I'm just too good at the game. <laughs> oh well. Win some, lose some, right? Let's go back and try again. But how many of you people would run up to a sentry being attacked, get ambushed by a thief, 
and keep fighting. Most of you mouth breathers would start running immediately. And that's why I'm better than you. Because I never run. Why do I never run? Because I know I'm the greatest player in the game, kids. I know that I have the chance to win no matter what the odds. Let's, let's keep going. See, they haven't taken my supply camp. That tells me that there's there's not uh, very many people on this map. So I have free reign to uh, attack these sentries again. And then maybe the same people will show up. I'll get them. I'll get them this time without without being ambushed by a thief. And I'll kill them both. Why would I quit because there's thieves out there? All you freaking mouth breathers putting on the forums how Oh, there's thieves out there! I can't win! They killed me two hits! What you need to do isn't, isn't make a forum post. What you need to do is send me money. I'll teach you how to play the game. How does that sound? Looks like this guy is trying to follow me around. I guess I'll invite him, but I don't know. He might not be worthy. Look at him. I don't know what he's doing killing the ram. What a moron. He's not worthy. I'm moving on to kill this sentry while that clown melees the gate over there. I'm not even going to take it upon myself to coach him. Because I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much tired of casting pearls before unworthy swine. Pearl after pearl of wisdom and knowledge and common sense I share with you, you freaking Pokemon-loving, pimple-faced Obama supporters. And and it's and it's just and it's trampled beneath your your hooves. You're just not worthy. You're not worthy. See, I have to lose this guy, or else I'm gonna be stuck. Oh, look at there. There's a victim. Pathetic. There wasn't even there was no resistance. There wasn't even any resistance. Gaming under influence. Probably were. Probably drunk. Because you gotta be drunk to suck that bad. Here comes another guy over here. Oh, there's two of them. They must be staging up for an attack on my, my supply camp. See, I'm standing here giving them giving them a target to attack. And their first instinct is to run inside like the sheep that they are. Isn't that disgusting? Does that not disgust you? Because I'm telling you, it, it's disgusting. Mouth breathers is 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 just a hobby of mine, I guess. I'm killing this guard for loot, trying to lose this meek stone clown, and I just so happened to, to run across a bunch of guys to kill. What a, what a glorious day. What a glorious day when I can run over the corpses of a couple of mouth breathers. There, that guy's still following me. I don't know what the hell he's following me for. I don't know what he wants. I would follow me too, though. I guess I just emanate greatness. But I'm going to have to lose you, buddy. You're not allowed to come with me. This is a one-man show. Peace out. There he is trying to follow me. He's not going to succeed because I'm just too fast. I know the map too well. He isn't going to be able to catch me. The next fight you see, that clown will be gone. Oh, here's a good one. Here's a good one. It's a, uh, looks like a warrior. Oh, there's that jerk right there gonna interrupt my show. I don't know what his problem is. He probably knows, he probably heard that I'm the greatest player in the game. And that if he followed me around, he'd get some easy kills. I'm sure that was it. Right now, we got Ferguson's attacking, uh, Quentin Lake. I'm gonna go attack them, see if I can kill, see how many of them I can kill. And once again, that guy's following. I didn't 
get off my root. The third has got me. Win some, lose some. At least hopefully I get rid of this meek stone clown. Now I see me taking this camp had more people, made more people want to come in and see what was going on. So now they are got a group of worthless mouth breathers running around capturing empty, empty towers. Uh, but just looking at the map, we can see Ferg is attacking here. They've taken this and this. My sentry's still there. He's still there. I'll take this sentry. Now here we are coming up on, on the sentry, but first I'm going to kill these guards. See, that's the range guard. I kill him first. And the other one I just run around like the idiot, the idiot that he is. Almost, it's almost like fighting kind of. Because he's, he's mindless. And he just follows me around and does what I want him to do. Just like a kind player would. Arena Net, if you're out there watching me, first of all, I want to say fire, fire your moderators, your forum moderators. If I say something that might be offensive to somebody, I, I mean, it should be at their discretion whether or not to block it, not yours. The way you moderate your forums is, it just makes the game un it makes it makes makes us lose that aspect of the game. Look at this freaking guy. I don't know who he thinks. I don't know what he thinks he's doing. I don't know what he thinks he's doing standing there watching while I'm killing this guard. But now he's gonna be punished. Why? Why did you stop to watch, son? What were you thinking when you stood there to watch the greatest player in the game killing a, your own sentry? What's the matter? What is that? Is that thing going to help you? No. It's not going to help you, son. You're dead. You're dead because I'm better than better than you. You don't have you don't have any reason to be playing this game. Turn the game off. Stop playing the game, son. Gaming under influence. What a disgrace. What a disgrace to Guardians. You weren't even a challenge, son. That's the second time I ate you. Let me make sure to laugh so this guy knows that he's pathetic. See, I flagged his tower. Killing his Doliac. I'm going to go attack this camp. But first, I gotta get rid of the moles. Because if I attack the camp with the moles, it would take me all night. Change of plans. As you can see, this is under attack. And these guys aren't aren't defending it. They're out karma farming. So, I'm gonna go defend it and see what I find. It could just be the Doliac getting killed by our guards, but we'll see. It's all, this is all in a day's work for the greatest player in the game. You approach something that may be hostile. You don't just go running up freaking without assessing the situation first. That's what stupid people do. Stupid people do that. That's why stupid people end up quitting and, and crying. Crying their way out. Now see, we got... Looks like a mesmer there, and I'm going to shoot him with the ballista because, as you can see, there's a ballista. First, I'll send in my pet to confuse him because he doesn't know where I came from, and then I'm going to shoot him with a ballista. Wait, well, isn't this shit fun? Isn't this fun, kids? Isn't this a great time? All in the day's work for the greatest player in the game. I'm telling you. I, what, how many of you would have thought to use the ballista? I did. You know why? Because I'm the greatest. That's the kind of thing that the greatest does. Use his head. Let's make sure to laugh at this guy to let him know that he's pathetic. Good job, son. I don't know what you were doing shooting the freaking door like that, but that was pretty stupid. Why he didn't? Why didn't? Why did he just stand there in ballista firing range? That was that was even more stupid. But some of the things people do in this game it just shows. You know, it's already evident that people don't have common sense. But when they start playing video games, it it just shows even more. So let's let's head on down to the dredge camp and see what <laughs> let's see what happens. 
who said there's no no fun in in uh in world be world I, <laughs> I have a hell of a time in here and i apologize for being profane earlier but you know it slips out every once in a while uh, well i don't know if i said it earlier but arena net if you're watching please fire your moderators or, or get them a get them a different job sweeping the freaking building or something because they, they really ruin the atmosphere of the game where you're not allowed to talk smack to your enemy that's that's pathetic i've gone over to the guild wars 2 guru forums instead and you all you all are going to miss out on on the greatness that is the greatest player in the game because you failed look at this picture This is what I get when I try to log in to your forums because your moderator was trying to make a statement to me. All he did was play into my hands and then he wants to try to make a statement to me saying I'm banned. No, Arena Med, you are banned. Your forums are banned. I refuse to use Arena Net forums. I read because people sometimes put useful information on there that I can use, which is very rare because I'm just by default, I'm smarter than everybody. But I refuse to use your forums until you change your ways. But for you developers out there watching me and, and just sitting there amazed at how I effortlessly destroy things with a ranger, I don't know what this guy's doing. He's an engineer. He thinks he's going to win. He's not going to win. Watch this. I'm in here in this camp full of dredge. Now you're dead, son. At least, at least you were hard to kill. At least you tried while well, you weren't hard to kill, but at least you put up... Watch this. Did you see that? I ended up falling down because I got shot by these two guys, but oh well. Let me make sure to laugh at him to let him know that he's pathetic. Too bad it doesn't work when you're fighting. But anyway, what I was saying, you developers there watching me play, seeing how I so effortlessly destroy things, I need to tell you that I'm a little overpowered. You need to nerf the ranger. You arena net developers out there watching me play, watching me just dis destroy everything with ease, as if as if I'm a I'm the GM. I need to ask you a favor. Please nerf the ranger. Please nerf me, because winning is too easy. You need to make the game harder for me to play so that I can enjoy it. Ignore all these people asking for. All these extra the ability to kill things and destroy things. Ignore those people. They just don't know how to play the game right. I know how to play the game right. And I'm saying, I'm too powerful. Please do what I say. Thank you, Runet. You guys, by the way, you guys make the, this is the greatest game I've ever played in, in I'm not going to say how old I am, but in all the years I've been playing video games. This is the greatest game I have ever played. Congratulations, Arena Net. And I'm taking my time out of the time out of my day to record this video. Because there's all kinds of people out there saying that World v. World is dead. No, the World v. World is dead. Don't hate the game. Hate the player because the player is a pimple faced, skinny jeans wearing, long haired Pokemon lover who, who never had a job in his life doesn't know the value of hard work and and they're just sitting there like those occupy like those occupy movement bums laying in the street with their sign saying make life make my life fair well life isn't fair kids life never has been fair it never will be fair you can't petition you can't petition success you have to work for it and this is this is what I'm this is what I'm showing you my breeders Look at, look at the things I can, I'm able to do by myself. You guys run around in herds of 10. You guys run around in herds of 10, 20, and 30 freaking Pokemon-loving mouth breathers. You're not even able to accomplish this much. 
and you're trying to say the game is broken. You need, you need, let me, let, let me say it, and it might be a little profane, and I hate being profane, but you need to pull your heads out of your asses, kids. These guys took advantage of the dead dredge, captured the, let me go run off and try to find another victim. Hopefully it's somebody that knows how to play the game, because I'm tired of winning. I'm tired of just winning all the time. Help me, help me to lose, Arena Net. Help me to lose. This is not enough of a challenge for me. And Fraps, if you're listening, come on, give me a break. You think I'm going to spend $37 to, to, for a program that, that just all it does is record? You got to be kidding me. $37? I remember using, I remember using Fraps a couple years back, and it was $20 back then. I didn't buy it then. Because I only used it for like a day. Oh, here's a victim. There's a victim, but he saw me and ran off because he's afraid. But I, oh, here he comes back. SFK, Kining Invader. Let me see. Let me see, make him sure he sees me. There's another one there. All right, we got us some action, boys. Woohoo! Woohoo! This guy's just gonna stand there. Let me kill him first because the other one is fighting and this one is. You see how quickly I make a decision? It's that easy, kids. That's how easy it is. And I don't understand, I don't understand why I'm lagging. But we'll see, let's see what's going on here. Let's see, let's see. There's a Mesmer added in. Let's see if I can kill that Mesmer too. Like I'm gonna have to blow up out of this. Oh. <laughs> I made it to the water. Will I live? Will I live? Of course I will, because I'm the greatest player in the game. Where's my pet? Give me a res, pet. Because I'm the greatest player in the game. I don't know where that mesmer went, but this guy is gonna die because he chose to follow me. You should not have followed me, son. You should not have followed me. Now you're dead. He's going to make it difficult to make me kill him in the water. It doesn't matter where you go, land, sea, or air. Oh, here comes more people. Time to, time to skip out. Time to make a great escape. I'll run into that keep, and will I make it? Of course. Will I make it to that keep? Of course I will, because I am the greatest player in the game. I know when to hold them. I know when to fold them. And right now, I know when to turn around and chase them again, chase them back. See, look at two of them running away from me because they know they're gonna die. Let me go, let me go get them. Let me go, they want to make this hard. They're trying to run away from me. I'm going to have to kill them. I'm going to have to catch them. Oh, look, look, there's a group fight. That's where the Mesmer went. You give me your back, you die. You die double quick. That's a mistake, son. Goodbye, thanks for playing. Have a nice day. I don't know what these guys are doing. I don't know where they came from. But that's how things work out in World E World. It's it's dynamic. It's not like an instance where you know what's gonna happen. And that's why. This is this is the greatest freaking game I've ever played, man. I do this I do this way too much. I waste way too much time playing this game, but I don't care because I'm having a good time, and I want to thank you, Arena Net developers, for making such a great game. See, look, look at that! Isn't that cool? These guys, but these guys—they don't know what they're doing. See, they're new guys. A lot of these people don't know how to play in here, so they'll be sitting there shooting the guards and shooting the gate, and none of them will lay a ramp. So I, I'll take it upon myself to pull from my 
siege weapon supply, lay a ram down for them, build the ram, run off and go do my own thing. Lay the ram, try to build a ram, and whatever they do with the ram is up to them. Surely none of them had supplies. Surely none of them knew what a supply was. Who knows? Maybe they're just cheap. But that's that's all in a day's work for the greatest player in the game, kids. That's all in a day's the ultimate the ultimate team player. The ultimate team player. Not only am I the ultimate solo not only am I the ultimate solo player, but I but I uplift the team at every opportunity I get. Because I don't like I don't like coming in here losing or, or having people that don't want to play. But see, they're they're made they were made at a different time than I was. When I was made when, when it was little girls that were made of sugar and spice and everything nice. Now it's little boys are made of sugar and spice and everything. So you expect you expect a different attitude from the from the uh, modern gamer. Raised by uh, liberals, raised by liberals, and uh, raised to be perfect, the perfect Democrat. Idiotic, idiotic mouth breathers with no imagination, no creativity. Just, just sheep. But this, but this isn't a political video. This is a video to showcase. The greatness that is mightiest, the greatest player in the game. And you know what? I, I made, I created the name Mightiest. That was that was an invention of mine. Before anybody, before I started using calling my tune Mightiest, nobody ever said that. Nobody ever knew what that was. And it's a perfect word to describe me. Both my, both mighty and righteous. And uh, I'm a little upset that when I tried to create an account on the Guild Wars 2 or Curse Gaming Guild Wars 2 Guru forums or whatever the hell you call it, I'm not very computer set. But uh, somebody took my name. I tried to name myself Mightiest, and some mouth breather already had my name. Isn't that, isn't that something? But you know. I'm used to being a trendsetter. I'm used to people wanting to be like me, so that's fine. It doesn't bother me. Flattery, or or what is it? The uh, what do you call it? The uh, what's that expression? Is the sincerest form of flattery imitation? If you want to be like me, you can try all day till your face turns blue. It ain't gonna work. There's only one. There will only ever be greatest player in the game and that isn't you now watch me go over here it's like there's some action going on over here the boss doesn't have the uh, immunity buff there's nobody here there they are I see you I see you now you're dead Attack. You stepped on my chat. Let me kill the thing first. You're dead. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but you should have. Should have known. You should have known. Win some, lose some, right, kids? But not easily, though, right? Look at these idiots. Look at these idiots. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I would. Most of you kids would have just lain there and waited to be spiked. Not the greatest player in the game. And it was actually me having to stop what I was doing to press the record button. That caused me to die. I got so involved in the fight that I forgot that it wasn't recording, and then it just threw me off. I was gonna kill them all. I guess I guess it'll have to happen next time. 
And I guess I guess that's enough for today. I gotta try to splice all these video clips together. But that's how you play in Eternal Battlegrounds, kids. Later, maybe later. If I'm feeling generous, I might show you all how to defend a keep and lay siege to defend a keep or a tower. But that's all I got for now. Word to your mommies. Remember, train, take your vitamins, say your prayers, just like Hulk Hogan said. And maybe one day you, you, you could be like me. Maybe one day. Just maybe.